halfway through the year, but parents are already making big decisions about where their kids will go to school next fall. Good evening, I'm Annette Pegler. Optional schools provide some of the best public education the county has to offer, but not everyone gets to go. Today, SES held a fair to help families learn more about getting enrolled and if optional schools are a good fit for them. Local 24 News reporter Tish Clark has tonight's local education. Well, each kid is different. They have different talents and different strengths. So the optional school program gives each kid a chance to look at each school and pick the one that best fits their needs. We think it's probably one of the most important events we have. The options are endless. Parents and students got a chance to learn more about each of the 46 optional schools that Shelby County Schools offer. Hopefully, uh, we, like I said, we can find the best school for her and, and uh, she can continue her, her, her learning experience. Samaya Yancey will be a sixth grader next year. She hopes to go to Colonial Middle. It's important because if you're gonna have an education that offers more than just reading and writing, then you ought to have it because then you'll be able to actually see what it's like to do something different. SCS officials say optional schools give students choices to express themselves by choosing a school that best suits their talents. And it's been around for almost th over 30 years. Making sure parents have choices and students have an opportunity to learn about different unique environments. It could be based on a college curriculum that they already start in high school. They can graduate and have 32 hours and start as a sophomore. I mean, it, it's amazing. The online application process begins at 10 a.m. January 28th. Now, you must have all applications in before February 1st, and applications are processed on a first-come, first-served basis. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you have any questions about your application or optional schools, or if you need some help filling it out, just go to our website and click on this story on localmemphis.com. In Midtown Memphis, Tish Clark, Local 24 News. It took many months.